Thanks for tuning in to Action Media Reviews. I have here a classified bat. Yes, we've already made a video on the classified bat, but let me talk to you about one of the things I love about all of this stuff, about all the G.I. Joe stuff. That's the third party custom, the fandom, the things that, that are created by the fans of G.I. Joe. And uh, Gridiron Studios is a relatively newer company. Uh, if you're on Instagram, you'll see a lot of their posts or uh, where people are getting their products at least. But they are making some really, really cool 3D printed stuff. The advancements of 3D printing have really opened up the options for especially the classified line and all six inch figures really. But for the uh, three and three quarter or four inch modern line as well, those figures, uh, there's so much badass custom stuff coming out. And this is my first purchase from Gridiron Studios. But um, by the way, excellent customer service. Uh, you can reach out to them and actually speak to a person on Instagram. Uh, I believe on Facebook as well, but they have a, an accessory kit for the Battle Android Trooper. Here it is. All these great little packs. These are available individually, but they also sell them in a, uh, a full kit, which I really like. I'm probably going to end up just storing this kit inside uh, the packaging because there's plenty of space behind the tray where you can stick things like these. Um, you have hand attachments here, uh, like big, big fucking machine guns and things like big machine guns for the battle Android trooper as hand replacements. They are made to fit into the socket where the hand pops out. Uh, we're going to open this guy up and check these out, but here, uh, give you a quick look here first. So it's a cellophane bag, and inside the big cellophane bag is the individual little kits. We have, and, and it's Gridiron Studios props and design. Uh, each one of these has a business card and also their uh, their Facebook tag, their Facebook name and their Instagram tag, as well as their website on the card. But, uh, yeah, each, each one of these, this is like a, a grenade launcher. And I believe, pretty sure these are 3D printed, but man, such a high resolution. These things look to be of such a great quality and they're all painted. You actually have moving pieces here that are painted. Check this out. It's like a, like a grenade launcher, like a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. That is awesome. Has a bit of a rough texture here on the outside. I'm not sure if this is, uh, I'm not sure if it's 3D printed or if it's cast, but uh, this thing looks fantastic. I'm really impressed with this uh, little piece of equipment for the Battle Android Trooper. So we're going to the next piece here. So <laughs> one of the really cool things that a lot of, uh, a lot of these uh, third-party makers are doing. They are making guns for the six-inch figures based on real guns, real-life guns. This is a Chris Vector. Check that out. If you're familiar with firearms at all, you know what a Vector is. It's a really neat concept, um, a very cool firearm. I believe the magazine, yes, the magazine is removable. That is awesome. The magazine is removable. And I'm not sure if, oh, this piece is removable too. Check that out. So it's a completely modular firearm. Uh, you can break this. <laughs> That's awesome. I love this. I haven't had one of these in hand yet, but that is awesome. So you have the, uh, the vector pistol that uh, has a stock that just plugs into the back like so. Plus they have a, uh, this is a rubber band for, uh, it's used as a sling for it. And yeah, this whole, uh, this whole bottom piece here, which on the real gun, this actually does come apart in a very similar way. Uh, the components do at least. So this is kind of 
hooks in here to the barrel extension and shroud and uh, locks back into place. But the uh, the actual vector, this is a, a caliber uh, changing module that you can take off and you can switch between, I know 45 ACP and nine millimeter and uh, they use Glock magazines, um, but it's a very, very cool gun. And at one point I wanted one uh, pretty bad, but I ended up going with the, uh, the CZ Scorpion Evo 3. Um, if you don't know, I am a firearms enthusiast. I do have a firearms channel. Don't do much with it anymore because I just haven't had a whole lot of time to get out and shoot. But the fact that I can put realistic, real life type uh, weapon replicas with my G.I. Joe figures uh, from a couple of different manufacturers now, that is uh, definitely a plus. Now, I, I think these are 3D printed, but man, the resolution on these is so high. I'm, maybe they're resin printed. Uh, I didn't ask the company before I made this video. But uh, the texture on these is really nice. I know with a lot of 3D printed stuff, you'll end up getting um, a lot of lines. And I don't see any lines in any of this. So maybe they're cast or uh, I just don't know. That's I'm going to have to find out. But something else about these, the end of the barrel is set up to take blast effects. I don't think Gridiron Studios offers blast effects, but I haven't gone through the entire website. I just ordered these because I saw them pop up and was like, I gotta have that. But uh, that vector, that's a really cool piece. Definitely worth the cost. I don't recall the cost right offhand, but if you uh, follow the link in the description and go to their website, they have all of their costs and everything right there. So this next piece is a mini gun attachment. A mini gun hand attachment. Is that not the coolest? And the barrel assembly rotates. It has a little, a little tab back here. You can spin that, uh, that barrel assembly. And this has the same type of texture as the launcher attachment has. Now, another cool thing about this You've got an ammo can, an ammo can that will mount <laughs> an ammo can that will mount in either side. It is keyed to the bottom here. And I know what's going to happen. If I push this on, I'm going to get a paint rub. I don't want to get a paint rub, but it's probably going to be inevitable. Yeah. So right there, it just plugs into the bottom like so that's not gonna fall off now this does uh one thing that i do see is a little bit of uh lining here from the 3d printing but uh as far as the rest of the part goes i'm not sure exactly how they're manufacturing these uh, if they're 3d printed but man they look good uh, this one's actually dated 10 26 21 so this uh, this ammo can has been around for a while i know that this ammo can i, I believe that it's being used in some of their other kits as well um it looks like what they're doing is, is 3d printing and then uh, adding a paint app over everything to kind of smooth it out because i can kind of see a little bit of the lining in here from uh from the printing process but dude, these these things these are an extremely high quality print yeah the barrel assembly is definitely 3d printed but you know these are such high resolution that uh most most 3D printed items I've steered clear of uh, because of the lines. You just, to me, it's unattractive and I don't really do a whole lot of loose stuff. But um, yeah, Gridiron Studios is making a product that looks amazing and I am impressed with it so far just off this one kit for the Battle Android Troopers. Um, I want to say this kit was like 30 or 40 bucks uh, for all three of these accessories and I I'm gonna say very well worth it um, they look phenomenal so let's go ahead and pop into a first person view get this guy out of the box and swap some hands out and see how these pieces look on the figure the battle android troopers hands pop out of the arms pretty easy straight out of the box uh, please excuse the mess with my work area here I've got a lot of projects going at the same time 
that uh, that I basically just kind of work on when I get a chance to. Got some O-rings and some screws. I got a bag of bats over here. This is all bats parts, <laughs> parts and pieces for uh, complete bats and accessory kits to uh, put them all together. Got to get those guys painted up and uh, uh, restored. I like restoring bats. I've done several, but. Um, Anyway, that's not what the video is for. The video is for Gridiron Studios. So the finish here, this gray finish, actually matches up really well with the gray of the bat figure. That That's going to plug straight in. Let me get this up here a little closer since I'm back behind my phone. And plug it into the hand there. Oh, yeah. There we go. And there we have the hand attachment for the launcher. That looks awesome. And this is very lightweight as well. So you can still pose the figure around. It's not going to like drag the arm down or anything. But look at how awesome that looks on the figure. It's matched up so well. And that's like a metallic, like a textured metallic finish. I really like that a lot. All right. So get that broke loose there. Uh, let's go with the mini gun attachment over here on the left hand. And you'll just press in and kind of turn a little bit, get it locked into place. There we go. Does that not look killer? That's so awesome. I love this. These guys have really knocked it out of the park with the bat accessories. That is so awesome. I, I love these. Now, this this whole thing, uh, as a matter of fact, some of the custom stuff coming out uh, from Gridiron Studios and from a couple of casters. I have a buddy that's casting pieces for me. Uh, it has really made me decide that I'm going to have an assortment of uh, battle android troopers with different custom pieces. Um, there's also some people that are making different chest plates and what not for these figures as well heads anything that you can pop on and off of these figures uh you can find some custom pieces out there in the market especially like clear chest plates they look so good but these i am so impressed with these now we can take this uh rubber band here and kind of put it up well the stock will come off Anyway, I'm going to put that up around the figure and uh, put this stock piece. Let's kind of roll that up there. Put that stock piece back on to the gun and kind of have that slung back here. And now he's got a vector to go along with the, uh, the, the, the hand attachments and the, the pistol sidearm that he carries. So this battle android trooper is literally just a walking armament. I mean, this is so badass. I mean, how, how would, how would Joe's like to, uh, meet up with something like this on the battlefield? You know, that's a definitely a heavy duty battle Android trooper. In my opinion, a mini gun, geez, and a, and a 40 millimeter grenade launcher. It's just sick. I love this. I, I really do think that uh, that Gridiron Studios has made a kit for the bat that just takes it to the next level, uh, and it's just simple hand attachments and a and a vector rifle in the uh, the the Battle Android Trooper yellow color. Like I I love this. All right, I will. Uh, I'll probably use one of Gridiron Studios photos as the cover photo for the video. But, uh, but yeah, here he is. This is, uh, I can't get over how good this looks. I really can't. And I, I'll show you how these, uh, how I'm going to fit these back into the box to uh, get him on the shelf. I'm actually going to leave this guy out from time to time and, uh, do some poses and whatnot with him for, uh, maybe some videos or some photo shoots or something. So I had some trouble getting this guy back into the, uh, the box, but, uh, or back into the, uh, the little cellophane pack here. So I'm not going to worry about that. It's not like they're going to be moving around, banging around or anything like, uh, to damage the, uh, the components in the box. So what I meant by storing them back here in the back of the tray, look at all the open space that you have back here. Plenty of room 
that you can totally stick these or other uh, <laughs> other third party uh, accessories back in behind the figure and have them displayed in the box. I'm not sure exactly how much of this we'll see, but we'll take a look here in a minute. Let's get this uh, this vector rifle set up right here. And now I always, I try to always open the bottom of the box and that way I'm gonna slide the figure back in and still use that for a display, but everything fits. Check it out. Everything fits in there just fine. And we'll close back up. And there's the front. You can still see the stuff in there. If you look, uh, if you move the box around to look uh, through the window in different sections. But yeah, you've got both of those launchers over here on this side. Uh, one of them did fall down to the very bottom. The, uh, the uh, minigun. Minigun fell down to the very bottom, but the others are kind of in place, and you can see that there's more in here than just this figure with its factory accessories. But Gridiron Studios definitely has uh, put out some quality products. Really enjoying these. Uh, like I just, I, I'm impressed. That's uh, that's a perfect fit for this figure, and I have others that we will go over as well where we'll open up a couple figures. It looks like I'm probably going to have to uh, end up with some more Battle Android Troopers and for some of the other stuff that I have coming. Like, I I don't want to give too much away, but uh, if everything goes according to plan, I'll end up with a classified Nanobat. Yes, the Nanobat. And I don't mean just by painting his parts green. I'll end up with a classified Nanobat. Hopefully, if everything goes according to plan. So, I'll be purchasing more items from Gridiron Studios, especially considering the fact that I can store these items in the boxes with the figures, and I don't have to have them displayed loose on a shelf. I just don't like doing that. Stuff gets knocked over, or stuff gets in the way, and whatnot. But, anyway... Be sure to hit that subscribe button and like the video. Check out the description. I have links for everything that you see here in this video from Gridiron Studios. I also have a link to my Teespring where you can purchase Action Media Reviews merchandise and to other Facebook groups where you can join in our communities and see some of the stuff that's coming out. All right, guys. Yo, Joe.